Okay, I don't think Chapter 1 returning as a permanent game mode inside of Fortnite was on anybody's 2024 bucket list. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Hey everyone, I'm Litzy, your favorite yappin' yapper. We're gonna do something a little different for today's video. I'm going to just completely raw dog this video, just completely unscripted. So we're gonna see how it goes. Make sure to like and subscribe, comments, hit the notification bell whenever you want to see me go live or whenever I next upload and be there the earliest before anybody. And let's get straight into it. So yesterday at about 5 p.m. EST, Sheena BR, a popular leaker on Twitter, tweeted that Fortnite OG is going to return and it's going to cycle through seasons every single month from season one of chapter one to season X. So it's going to have a completely original loot pool, and this upcoming game mode is going to be a permanent mainstay inside of Fortnite. And it will be revealed at the Game Awards, which, by the way, if this wasn't leaked, and I think that says something about leakers and, like, ruining stuff that could be hype or exciting, then seeing the return of OG Fortnite at the Game Awards would have been so... So cool, and I believe it still will be, if this does happen to be true. I would take this with a grain of salt, because leakers, especially Shiana here, haven't been super, super accurate like they normally are recently, but I still think they got enough credibility to be uh, taken seriously here. And while I am excited for this, I am also very skeptical of it. As you guys know, I recently, I say recently, it was about a month ago as the recording of this video, but recently I have made a video discussing why I think Fortnite OG being a constant crutch for Fortnite in Epic Games was a bad thing. I said that if Fortnite kept relying on its past, it would never be able to evolve and make a greater game. It would, it would never be able to be anything better than what that original chapter of Fortnite was. And I I haven't changed my opinion since that video. And I'm personally of the belief that the current Fortnite chapter, like the current Fortnite Battle Royale, should always be the chapter the game is currently in. Reload is a completely different thing. Completely different thing entirely. That thing is fine being like a reference to earlier chapters of Fortnite, earlier seasons of Fortnite. I'm completely fine with that. But making OG Fortnite a permanent game mode, unless it really, really takes off, I see this as being a thing to be concerned about. Because, well, there's multiple reasons. I think the first reason is you're splitting up the player counts a lot. Now, we already split up the player count between, like, actual Battle Royale players a lot with the introduction of Reload, and it doesn't help that this season they added more game modes to Reload, so now things are even more split up there. You're splitting up the same general player base whenever you introduce Reload and then add all these separate game modes for Reload, including Ranked and all the stuff that needs to go into Ranked. And it makes it to where the games have longer queue times, more bots, aka fake players inside the games, and skill-based matchmaking gets screwed up because sometimes it won't always put you in a match with people who are actually your skill level. And introducing a entirely new, or I guess like old, battle royale back into the game as a permanent game mode will only do that more. Theoretically, let's take the average player count of a Battle Royale builds mode uh, throughout the day. So about 500k. 500k players playing bat Battle Royale. Just the normal Fortnite Battle Royale, current season, everything, and a single day. And you s continue to split up that player count amongst Reload, Ranked Reload, and their Zero, zero Build counterparts. And then in ranked specifically, all the different ranked uh, lobbies you could be in. And then you just keep dividing a player count more and more and more and stretching players thin. It's going to make a lot of issues in the long run. And doing that even more so with OG Fortnite 
it's going to get really thin soon. It doesn't help that there's also just like a shit ton of other game modes that are out there that people could also be playing. It's... I'm just concerned about it because Battle Royale, OG Battle Royale, whenever it comes back, is said to ha also have uh, its zero build counterpart, counterpart. And that is just splitting up the game even more. Uh, it could also just have solos, duos, trios, and squad there too. Uh, who's to say it can't also have a ranked counterpart? It just keeps splitting. It just keeps on splitting, and that's what's concerning me. Because, theoretically, just how much can you thin out your player base like that? And then, of course, there's Fortnite relying on its past when it comes to OG here. Uh, again, just a bunch of stuff that I have missioned in that o old video of mine. But it's, it's just hard to explain, I guess. It, what if Fortnite OG coming back as a permanent game mode is more successful than, I don't know, Fortnite Chapter 6? What's, to, what's stopping Epic Games from looking at those numbers? And just, what if they stop caring about giving us a lot more new content in Fortnite? that takes a lot of hard work, money, and effort, and they instead just settle to continue doing stuff from the past and just reusing stuff from the past because it's apparently working. They're never gonna be able to evolve their game. And personally, I think that is the catalyst to this game's downfall. I don't think any other kind of video game is enough to kill Fortnite. I think the only game that can kill Fortnite is Fortnite itself. And I guess we're gonna have to see how it goes, but I'm worried about this. I'm just, I'm just so worried. So what if Epic Games doesn't stop there? They're seeing that uh, this season, this current Fortnite season, Chapter 2 Remix, is pretty successful, even though it is, it's not a perfect recreation of Chapter 2 because of the whole rapper thing, which that's a topic for another video. People are mad about that. But who's to say they won't see the success of this season too, and also bring Chapter 2 back as a permanent game mode. Thinking about this, just like, front and center, you think it would be a great idea. Thinking about bringing back all these old maps, or just having different options on what you could play. But I'm just, I'm, I'm just worried that you're gonna either split up the player base too much, or you're gonna slowly drown out anything new from the game outside of maybe stuff like cosmetics and stuff in the item shop. We won't get like fun collabs in the game anymore or anything. Like who's to say Epic Games doesn't just take us back to OG forever. And I know there's some people out there on the internet that are probably salivating at the idea, but it's just not good or healthy for the game. And that's something I've been preaching ever since the original Fortnite OG came out. Point is, I don't think, personally, this is a good idea. I think it's going to be fun for the meantime. I'm going to have a blast with it. I'm going to sometimes play it over Chapter 6, even though I'm very optimistic towards Chapter 6 and thinking it's going to be a good chapter, but I just think in the long run, it's going to severely hurt the game. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, maybe Fortnite's player count absolutely skyrockets for the rest of time because of OG Fortnite coming back and thus the lobbies don't get too split up because there's so many different people playing different experiences. But if I could have it my way, I personally just wouldn't do this. I think it's a bad idea. Thanks for listening to my small little rant piece here where I express my concerns about Fortnite OG coming back as a permanent game mode. But... I hope you did enjoy a more unscripted style of video. This might be something I do more often for smaller subjects like this. I say smaller, but this is like a massive leak or something. <laughs> Anyways, I've been Litzy, your favorite yappin' yapper. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,500 subscribers by the end of this year. And until next time, stay lit, and I'll see you later.